please excuse the attire I'm wearing. I had one class today, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I just like to sit around, do my work, and relax in t-shirts and jeans. Okay? Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and this is the 10th episode of Alyssa Explains It All. If you haven't seen the past nine episodes, you have to go onto Yeswego YouTube page and look at the playlist that stars me, and you can look at all the videos, all of them, and it's pretty cool, because there's a lot of me. Today's episode is gonna be the top five things that you need to know about generally in college. The first thing that you need to remember about college is that you need to take chances. Sometimes things are not handed to you, but sometimes things like that don't happen. It's not, it's not pure luck. You have to make things happen. Example, I got this job from putting myself out there. I was the one to say, I want to do this. You have to do that. You have to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to do that. Not your parents. Not your older siblings who go here, not your roommate or your friends. You have to do it. Go for the goal. 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 Number two, be yourself. Okay, I'm always like myself. This isn't an act. I'm not acting. This is who I am. I'm very friendly. I talk with my hands. I have a Woody the Pooh doll with an Adventure Time hat on. That's me. Okay, that's not me. But this is me represented by that. You're starting off college as a freshman or a transfer at a new place that no one really knows who you are. You're not gonna start off being someone that you're not. You just gotta be who you are on the inside and then let it express on the outside. Third thing is you need to get involved. Sometimes halls have events like parties and food stuff. Join that, get involved. Let people know who you are. You can't like express yourself and do the first two things without getting involved. When you were little, how did you make friends when you started preschool? You got involved. I mean, your parents were there to push you, but like you got involved with your friends, you sat down with them and you drew with crayons and you figured out that everybody can stick things up their nose and you just learned that you all have something in common. That's because you got involved. Number four, be organized. Okay, right now, you know that you have a giant thing of laundry. Right now you know you have a ton of homework on your desk and you have a lot of free time. What are you gonna do? You're gonna organize it. And you're not gonna have things flying all over the place. We don't want things flying all over the place because I get messed up when something's messed up and I know you probably get messed up when something isn't where it's supposed to be. Make sure you put all your homework in folders. Make sure you take a lot of good notes. Make sure that not everything is messed up and your pencil shirt sharp sharpened. Sharpened? Yes, sharpened. Fifth thing is, have fun. Sure, it's college and you're gonna be in boring classes and sometimes you're gonna be taking a test and you might be so stressed out. Sometimes you're having a fight about with other people. Sometimes they don't have the best food during dinner, okay? Have fun anyway. Make the best of it. Make something your way. This is like Burger King. You want it your way, man. You want it your way. And then you'll be McDonald's like, ba da ba ba ba, you're loving it. Okay, I'm just throwing fast food slogans out there at you because they're true. Fast food helps in a certain way. It motivates you to have fun. Just have fun. It's college. You're independent, okay? Just take a breather and have fun. And those are the top five things that you need to generally know about college because without them, I don't know how your life would function. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and you should subscribe to this channel. Like this video and follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and tweet me, direct message me, do whatever you want to get in contact with me. I check my Twitter a lot since I have 13.5 thousand tweets. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Alyssa Explains It All, okay? Number 11. I could do this. But, ow! I hit the lamp. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Meh! Here at college, because without those, I'm sorry, there are boys running past my window.